right, you're welcome back to the balance diet of teletainment this morning. Now, if you check your go go, you go see the next bus stop will not sit down on top. Now, the one we consign our leaders of tomorrow will be children. Because right about now, we don't they get children where they show the kind of things where they do. Um, the kind of things where they feel you science and technology in particular do. And that's now why we get um, some very casual guests. To my immediate left, I get um, Dr. Mrs. Uh, Nike Akindayo. She, now Sabinus, what would they call Sabinus when inside the profession of education? Because she don't get a gather experience where the worker reached three decades. Right now, she'll be obtaining her first degree for English from the um, Obafemi Oluwole University. And she don't work for plenty, plenty different industry. She still work out to get her master's. And as today, yeah, so she, now PhD holder in counseling uh, with psychology from the University of Lagos. Now, she, right now, today speak, now one of the head mistresses to one of the head of the head of school to one of the very popular schools for inside Lagos. Um, and we get in the midst as well, we get uh, with the, uh, um, a colleague of hers, we also did with her inside the studio this morning. Good morning, um, Dr. Mrs. Nike. Good morning. And good morning, Mr. Jude. Mr. Jude. Good morning. Now, welcome to the studio this morning. Now, looking at um, the children we'll get nowadays, because um, I know say now we they hear of uh, young children. In fact, not too long ago, we see four Nigerians, where four Nigerian girls, we actually qualify for one international competition where they don't qualify for and they're going to the final stage right now. And when they come out, they look, because a lot of um, parents now, they try to encourage their children in terms of information, communication, technology, which is ICT. And we see, say, nowadays, a lot of our children actually get the mind and they're creative enough, but yet, it be like say our country get some kind of coma where you know they allow them showcase what they get. What do you think about um, Dr. Mrs. Nike? Audio jungle. <laughs> Our picking our leaders of tomorrow. That's not why they important part to make sure say they get opportunity to do better thing with their hand. Now so we work at go Grace Children's School for Bagada, where competition be there with children from different schools where they don't invite to show their power on top science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. That's not why they call her S T E A M. Steam. Now six year old picking where you they watch so we sit down together, think I'm on top of their head to come out with motor where they move. Then gather all the things where they need, assemble them by themselves with screwdriver and other things where engineers they use. Finally, finally, this six year old picking there can create portable motor we get light and the motor they move. <laughs> our children from the different schools we actually come together to showcase what they feel do with science and technology and um, rather that's not why we get the Kajad guests we'll get inside the studio this morning and we they ask the guests say looking at the way our country they are looking at how certain things they happen for our country why it can't be like say our children you know they get opportunity to show their skills on top of science and technology if we look at it is it is about how important the our government feels these things are we talked about STEAM. It's a curriculum that gives education to children about integrating, putting together everything with them they learn. Hmm? Putting together everything with them they learn for science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. If, if we no allow them to practice all these things, they will think, say, OK, we just they learn. May we, may we learn, they go. But nobody say, may we use our hands, do something. And that's why you saw that on that video clip. The children actually learning and being able to put everything together. Do you know that these things are not actually, they are not far-fetched. Science, they say, okay, how you turn rice, we, we be solid. You turn them to something where you, you feed, you, when you cook them, it is science. Hmm? Technology, we all get phone now. Hmm? Engineering, when we put all of these things together, you even see one part of it where then they dance. That, that's part of, there is part of technology there. There's also part of arts and also mathematics because the, the steps they calculate. You dance like this to this side, to that side. All of that is bringing education together to make it functional for children, to make children they able to use it. But now in our country, the problem where we get, we say, our government, they say, say these children, they, they're good. Schools, they try, but opportunities don't come. 
Now, you, you, you talk some to where they rest cry. You say schools, they try. But truly, mm. if you go to some public mm. schools, mm. some children not get access to qualified, let, let me put it like that, qualified teachers, mm. we go take them on these different fields where you mm. actually just mentioned. Mm. Now, if you want to make your picking, lend them, you're going to need to put them in private schools. Mm. I would not say they're not that cheap. But that aside, let me speak with Mr. Jude. Let's talk about technology and the impact we get on top children. Now, we know say they get a negative side because I we read a particular research where come outside talk say um, the rate of obesity for inside children don't increase because now most children do not mingle with their pairs anymore that they on their tab. Exactly. How parents, the, what will be the role of parents in ensuring say their children use technology in a positive way? Okay, thank you. Uh, that question is what we attack every time when we hear parents complaining that children are becoming too addicted to their gadgets. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that uh, if you want, if you're giving a child a gadget, you have to make sure the child is focused on performing a task that is related to their homework or anything. So it's, they don't just wander around. Because this gadget they, is because of the internet, they can just wander around and go off, off uh, point. So the best thing is to make sure that they are probably having a gamified lesson or a CBT test they are taking there or research they are focused on. There are, there are websites that are strictly for uh, students that they don't have to go to even Google. There are students' websites that don't uh, populate the what they call it, the website with ads and things that are not necessary for the students. So it's better for uh, parents to focus on what will help the children learn instead of just giving them a gadget and tell them to find out by themselves. I want to make you still answer this question because I mean, I know that you and I personally say there's nothing like a mother speaking. Tell us how the role way, especially mothers, because now they stay house with the children, mm -hmm. where they're supposed to play in ensuring that they are picking use technology well. It's not just about giving a child a, a gadget. It's also about monitoring the use of the gadgets. As uh, Jude tell, tell us now, if you give a child a phone, how much control does the child have? How much do you have? It's about you giving the child a gadget for constructive play. That is, they are, they are using it to do the things that will help their lives. You don't allow a child to stay in a secluded place, let's say just in a, um, in a room alone or in a place where nobody can see what they are doing. Do you know that you can actually monitor what children do on their phones? Mm -hmm. But most of us, do we monitor? That is where we have the problem. Mm -hmm. We don't monitor. Mm -hmm. even, even our our television, in most houses now, you have, um, you have, you have TVs everywhere and everything showing the same thing. We have a problem with that. Because at the end of the day, you don't know. You are watching something, and you think that your child has slept, but, you, but the child is also watching an adult, an adult, adult video or something on phone. Now, looking at, because now you'll be um, head, of, head of school for one of the popular schools mm -hmm. when you said um, Lagos, uh, we're going to need to know, what can be certain things we parents need to look out for when they, they want their picking to attend um, schools? Because when it comes to school now, mm -hmm. we don't say school don't they close. Mm -hmm. We go enter holiday, and mm -hmm. some people go on change schools. What can be some of the things where they need to look out for, for schools where they want their picking be inside? How, how compliant is that child, is that school with technology? The world that we are in, they call it 21st century world. Mm -hmm. If anybody is bringing up a child now, your child must be able to understand what's, what is done with technology constructively, mm -hmm. not just to phone, not just to play with iPad. You can find out from the internet, what is this school known for? What is their strong point? Every school has a different strong point. Hmm? How do they monitor the children? What do they do? One of the things that we do, because we are so, so passionate about children, is that even when a child is not doing well, there's nothing like Olodu. Hmm. Children have learning difficulty. What is the school policy about learning difficulty? What does the school do for children that have problems? What does the school do for children that are very intelligent? 
These are things that we must be able to find out. And you also find out what is the policy concerning the, the teachers? What kind of teachers are they taking? Is it just any kind of teacher? Is it just any school side that just, that's just looking for jam and did not pass jam? You say everybody wants to be teacher now. In our nursery classes now, we don't take anybody, anybody that has less than masters in early childhood education. So they know they have been trained. Apart from the training where we, we go give them, they have also been trained. It is not just, um, 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 let me say somebody did anything at. And then just come and, and start just teaching. And just come, uh, start teaching. I, like mm -hmm. I, I totally like that. Mm -hmm. Mr. George, please speak with me now. What is it with the impact of training kids early in science and technology and the other things we want to actually mention, mathematics, art, on yeah. the economy, especially for the Nigeria economy. Thank you. Uh, the essence of training kids early enough is to prepare them for a future we don't even know about. A future that is not determined, but we know that technology is driving the trend and is driving how economies are built around the world. So you imagine that we have other countries coming to invest here and our children are not ready or not technical wise in terms of uh, technology. So. We prepare them for those futures uh, going around the world and becoming a better citizen too. Wow. I like that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming inside the studio. I wish I get more time because I have so many questions exactly. to ask, even when it comes to repeating the class. Because I know a lot of parents, during my time, if I repeat school, my, 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 my class, my papa will beat me tired. But now, it's a different scenario. But thank you so much for coming inside the studio this morning. Um, that's all we see. I'm on top of the segment. We're going to need to a more break. By the time we come back, of course, we get news top of the hour. And we'll still get other things to go on on top of the show. Stay with us. the matter even be safe. The children here and how recycling fee help us. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.